Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is day one. First legal day of shed tour. So, first legal day you can pick up sheds. It's a beautiful day today. Show you guys the sky. Clearly, just blue skies for days. Absolutely gorgeous today. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, oh my dear God. Finally, finally found them. The ancients call this place the land of the blue sky people, and you can see why. Literally, just blue skies for days. Crazy. Some people are ripping up the road. We're gonna make some breakfast real quick. We're gonna do some eggs, some sausage, maybe some tortilla. And then get ready and head on out of here. It's really bright out here. Morning. Shed tour 2020, day one. Shed tour. Tour time. I'm gonna go find some of those guys, hopefully. Hopefully. The brown towns. <laughs> hopefully something bigger than hopefully that. Hopefully a little bigger than that. Come over here to the Yeti. Let's see. Some tortillas. Some cheese. Oh, some eggs. Breakfast time. Got some scrambled eggs. Mmm. Tortillas. Some sausage patties. Fresh coffee. If he's doing the dishes, right on. The good stuff. Fueling up. Alright, so we're gonna go tortilla. Some cheesy eggs. And then some sausage. And voila, mm. breakfast taco. Breakfast tacos are so good. It's really good with bacon too, but and, hash and some hash browns. If you can get a hash brown patty in this, oh my gosh! Almost had a heart attack. KK had a 
email from the Carl Parks and Wildlife about her sheet tag. And this was the first year that she could pu actually put in for the tag and have a chance. But it was unsuccessful. She's over here trying to get cell service. <laughs> unsuccessful, huh? Yep. We're going to go hit some of this country just right back behind camp, back up in here and hit through some of these hills. Get some of the timber and some of this little grassland. Probably looking mostly for mule deer sheds today in this low country and maybe some uh, elk sheds from last year. They wintered in here last year. There's a lot of snow. This past winter there wasn't as much, but the winter of 2018 there was a lot. But there is some elk poop in here and some elk signs, so there could have been some straggler bowls somewhere in here at some point. Are you ready? Yep. Now that you're done with the sheep scares over with. not racing anymore. Ooh. Yeah. guys it's almost almost as bad as opening day hunting it's probably worse than hunting we've already seen I don't know three or four people we saw that guy carrying the shed down to his truck another truck driving out and then Kendra saw another guy I don't know half a mile away yeah. no we're not even a mile away walking shed hunting too so it's busy today guys it's this is crazy I've never I've never seen this before, like a shed yeah, opener and there's a, a lot of people. Yeah. It's a Friday, yeah. And there's people out everywhere crawling through the mountains looking for sheds, which is cool, but holy cow, we might have to go to another spot. I mean, there's like three people hitting the same spot and who knows what people have hit. So it's kind of makes you kind of not want to walk through there because you don't really know if somebody's already walked through there or not. And I mean, that guy found that shed pretty much exactly the direction we were going, so kind of makes you wonder do you want to go that way or go somewhere else or go in a different direction choices I've got some elk tracks somewhere in here Deer tracks. All right, everybody. We're out here hiking around. It's hot. Haven't found anything yet. Heath and I are walking about a hundred yards apart from each other. We have the walkie talkies. Um, see if we can find anything. I got myself up here on the hill, but nothing yet. We. Hopefully we'll find something. We found a rabbit. That's about it. So the search continues. Well, we started back on the other side of this little hill right here. That's where camp is. Glassed off there. Glass all this country. Came up here. Found a really good scrape tree. This is the stuff you want to find. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it looks like it's from winter, maybe spring, but. You can tell they just destroyed this tree everywhere. Just raked it to nothing. Poor guy. Hi, God, I just found an elk <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> oh God. Am I you situated here? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. KK just found a brown. I was literally just filming too. What the heck? Every time I turn on the camera, you get one. <laughs> All right, let's go find KK. Awesome. That's so cool. 
She says it might be the match to that guy. She says, I don't know. Hey, if it's that, if it's the match to that guy, we got to go find him and you got to give it to him. Where are you at? Guys, you can hear... Oh, she's back this way. You can hear a quad. Ripping. I hear you. I hear that quad too. <laughs> she, there's a quad just ripping up the road. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, I think she's up here. I think I hear you. I'm coming. Right through there, came up, looked to my right, and that's what I found. My first brown elk shed ever, and my first shed of the 2020 shed tour. I'm so excited. I was the first one to find the shed. Um, oh. out in the open still brown up in this timber huh good line oh yeah sweet you guys can see that on the ground right there nice brownie G2s, good third, solid sword, decent mass, and a super exciting thing. Yeah, let's get a good ATL. Alright, go for it. Pick her up. Ooh, it's heavy. Ooh. <laughs> Let's just put your hands on it. <laughs> Sweet. Heck yeah. What do you think? That's your first? That's my first brown elk shed. First brown elk shed ever. Look at that back in. Look at that split. Bring that thing closer in so we can see the split on there. Yeah, look right there. Look how it flip it around to the outside. Jeez. Like bird shot. I was I was just thinking in my head. I was like, man, that one that guy found is a really like a tan shed. And I was like, the ones over on the ridge are really dark, like dark timber sheds. I was like, these ones are a little bit different, huh? They're like yeah. a little bit different colored. Dang, that thing is sweet. That's definitely not the other side to what that guy found. Look at that. That's a big old split back there. Look at that split. Holy cow. I'm so excited. Like that's like that's a good like 16 inch. That thing's huge. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, let me get a good shot of you. Stretch your arm so far. There you go. <laughs> nice. We found our first elk shed, so we are rewarding ourselves with snacks. We've already had some fruit snacks. Oh, true, as always. Yeah. You know it. I might have my chewy bar. It's getting warm, huh? It is getting very warm. But it's really nice, and when the wind blows, the breeze is nice. Mm -hmm. 
sitting here next to my shed before we load him on the pack. Then we can scoop that one up. He would have got chalked out way quick out here. Mm -hmm. He's already starting to already get a little color, color, color loss right there, but the back side of him's got some sweet color still. Like a red. His burr is so white. Yeah. Decent sized bird too. Little tires blood. Yeah, I'm excited to see what you think because I like the tiger's blood. I like it more than pink one. The oh, pink one is not bad. Color. Color. Like almost the same color, huh? A little redder. A little more red. So, the biggest thing to remember when shed hunting is, like, early on, when we very first got to the kind of the first place we wanted to glass from, we saw the one guy, he already had an elk shed, and then we probably saw three other people, cars driving the road, there's tons of people out today, and we still found a shed. So, it's possible, don't give up. There's so much country, they could literally be anywhere. I mean, he could have walked right past, well not, not right past this one, it was right out in the open, but I mean, he could have walked 40 yards away and probably not seen it. So don't give up there, just gotta stick with it. It's a good reward. And if anything, we're out here enjoying this beautiful Colorado day. It's gorgeous outside. The sun is out, there's a couple of clouds, but nice breeze, it's beautiful. So, even if you don't find sheds, you're still going to go outside and enjoy the beautiful nature. And you might find a sweet shed. Well, we uh, stopped and picked up KK's shed back down here. We're just kind of cruising up through all this, all these PJs, what we call the PJs. There's a bunch of good fresh elk track coming all up through all this rock. You can kind of almost smell. I mean, there's the old track, mud, and there's fresh tracks right there. Super fresh, going all up in here. KK said she found some over there too. There's got to be some in here. Ooh, look at that. Big old bed, bedding area. You can see where they scrape the ground and scrape the ground all up and embedded. Pretty crazy. There's got to be another brownie somewhere up here on this ridge. That's a little spine. Yeah. We're gonna get into another one. I can feel it. There's one up here. Well, I'm on the board in 2020. It's <laughs> walking down. Right down in this fence line, got to about right down in those trees right there. Looked up, saw two little white points sticking up, and booyah! Oh, yeah. First shed of 2020. <laughs> oh man, what a stud! Whoa, look at that split. Heat pile. <laughs> Dinker two, right on. Cool. Pick up first shed of 2020. Actually, no, it's my second one because I picked that one up on private. Oh, right. Nice. A chalked out two pointer. <laughs> think we can match them up, huh? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Just rolling back to camp. Got the shed queen. Oh, yeah. Woo! That was a that was a long hike back. <laughs> a little hot. We got a lot of trash too, like way too much trash. People gotta start picking that stuff up. Getting ridiculous out here. We're back at the uh, back at the Mitch, having some lunch or some late afternoon lunch. Um, got some ribs going on. Brought some ribs from the house. 
I already made these the other day in the oven and now we're just heating them up on the flat top. And our feet relax. It's <laughs> a nice day just relaxing and eat some ribs, relax. Maybe go hit some more country later this afternoon when it cools down just a little bit. Doing the good deed. Taking out the trash. This whole side was just littered with trash. Put some gloves on so we could grab those cans out of the, out of the uh, oh yeah, there's another bottle. Okay, so we're at 41, or 41, 42, because I got one here. Boom. We're in the zone, baby. Woo. Heck yeah. Smearing off ice. Ooh, the screwdriver edition. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all are crazy. Here, I'm going to take this car tire down to camp. I'm going to take that out of here, too. And more bottles and cans. <laughs> Okay, so we went around camp and picked up a bunch of trash and uh, I didn't film it because I would have been probably pretty angry and KK says it puts fury in her heart so but we went and picked up a boatload of trash the blue crate thingy is ours the milk crate but that's all the garbage we picked up which is really fresh garbage like party time and there's literally deer and elk that live Right here. I mean, we saw deer last night, like right back here behind camp. We've seen deer down in the bottoms down here, up over there before. The elk, like literally winter up in this stuff. And the, uh, and the deer live here year round too. And it's just crazy that people just trash it. It's disgusting. It makes me. Okay, so we just finished picking everything up. Let me show you what we got. So we've got a tire, a big old bag of glass and bottles, some old poles from a chair or a tent or something that they just throw under a tree. There's a whole nother, that's like half our garbage and then half what we found up the mountain. This is the kind of stuff that puts a fury in my heart that just, I can't, I can't even talk about it. It made me so upset. <sighs> Clean up your garbage when you come to the mountains. It's that simple. I always tell Heath, you had, you carried it up here full. It weighs less and takes up less space empty. Take your stuff off the mountain. Okay, end of rant. What up, what up y'all? We're at the uh, second spot we're going to go shed hunt. We're going to go back up behind us, back up into that timber, and then work this whole ridge side all the way down. About ready? Yeah. Let's hit it. Well, we're coming out. Heard an elk right here. <laughs> what the heck? All cows, huh? It's a cow herd just hanging out. 